All right, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new Let's Play. All right, so if you guys have been with me for quite some time now, um, you may know me. My name is Jessica, also known as Jessmica92, but you can just call me Jessica. I don't mind. Um, and I obviously do Sims Let's Plays. I have currently going on the, uh, the Sims 3 All-in-One, which I adore that Let's Play. I have um the sims 4 master vampire challenge and the sims 4 not so berry challenge and now i have this one which a few weeks back i actually lost all of my sims 4 saves all of my files in general mods custom content everything i don't know what happened and i did have a teen mom and a single dad let's play going on which you guys enjoyed so much i absolutely loved my teen mom let's play but i sadly can't continue that because I stupidly forgot to back up my saves since a month before this all happened. Horrible, 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 which means teen mom and single dad were not in the backup. So uh, I had to start up. I'm going to have to start up a couple new Let's Plays. Um, and I just started up the Master Vampire Challenge um, yesterday and I'm starting this one up today and then I have the Not So Berry Challenge for The Sims 4 and then one Sims 3 Let's Play. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into this Let's Play before I go rambling because I'm good at that. Um, but anyways, so if you guys know um, my teen mom, this this is somewhat of a, not really a recreation because the story is totally different, let me tell you that. Um, but I was going to name this Teen Mom, but then as I was writing the story out, I'm like, wait, no. Um, this is Teen Parents, and the reason why it's Teen Parents is because the father is involved so much more than when he was with the Teen Mom. He was very flaky and fishy and just didn't know how he would react to everything that was going on. So, I have a little backstory, and I'm going to go ahead and read it to you, but I need to move my mic, so pardon any sounds that you guys hear. I apologize. I'm getting repositioned really fast. So, um, I've been starting out Let's Plays where I make up a backstory semi for all of my, you know, Let's Plays, but um, specifically story-based Let's Plays, so like my challenges, they don't really have a backstory. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and jump on in. So the two main characters of this Let's Play is Kaylee... I can't remember her last name. Kaylee Woods, I think it is, and Bryant Wolf. And if you guys, you may find them a little, you know, similar to my last Create a Sims. Just keep that in mind. Um, I did create these for a um, Create a Sim video, um, and also the girl I use. I use the girl in my spring lookbook. She's adorable. I fell in love with her instantly, and I just, I had to put her into my game along with the boy. So, yeah. But anyways, let's just go ahead and read the story, and let me catch my breath, because as you guys may know, I am pregnant, so I'm going to be breathless for a little while until I give birth, obviously, so pardon me. But anyways, let's go ahead and read this. So, Kaylee grew up in a foster care. Her mom passed away during childbirth, and her father left her mom before Kaylee was born. He wanted nothing to do with her, so still to this day, she knows nothing about her father. Eventually, she does want to try and find her father and hopefully get him involved with her life somehow, even if it's just little visits here and there. She met Bryant at school. They fell madly in love with each other, still are in love with each other. They are still in love with each other. Let's rephrase that. <laughs> Um, when Bryant found out she was in the foster care, he did everything he could t to help her get out. His parents told him no when he asked them if she could move in with them. They didn't understand the love they had for each other and didn't approve of what they were doing. His parents felt like they were moving way too fast. Kaylee has a dream to become a teacher when she graduates from school. School is very important to her. Bryant got a job so fast that they could move out and rent their own home. He doesn't know how long this fairy tale will last, but he's hoping on forever. Kaylee wanted to start a family young, but wasn't expecting it to be so soon. But they are both so excited to welcome their bundle of joy. Even with the struggles that it could cause, they are ready, and their relationship is ready. The only downfall is Brian's family have disowned him, so they are 
all on their own, especially since Kaylee got emancipated. She has no connection with the state and her foster parents, but she couldn't be any more excited for her next step to, into becoming a strong woman. Same with Bryant. Strong man, not woman. Um, so yeah, this house is just a rental. They do not own it. They have no obligations in staying here very long. Um, I do plan on having them move out into their new, th like their own house. And I have some plans for that. Um, but yeah, so this is a rental and it is obviously furnished, but the rental place furnished it for them because they knew that they were young teens expecting and they just wanted to help out as much as they could. Um, they have... Um, not very long to get their own place. So we are definitely going to be saving up. We may have to take out some loans, um, and pay it back. And yeah, so this is going to be very interesting. I have a few mods installed that I'm going to be using and I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have the prom mod, the graduation mod, um, the baby shower mod, which I will be using, um, here soon because she's pregnant, obviously. And I also have this ATM slash credit type of mod installed as well. So we will definitely be focusing on that and eventually probably pulling out a loan to be able to get into a new house. So, yes, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and introduce you guys to The Sims. Um, another thing is I don't have them like... Um, set to like long span or anything like that. It's on normal, but with master or MC command, I almost a master controller with MC command mod center. Um, you're able to customize the age, um, length. So right now for uh, teens, they're set to 25 and I think that's perfect. Um, but with Kaylee, um, it's obviously says that she's going to be aging up in one day, but that's cause she's pregnant. But yeah, so, ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> his little aspiration is bodybuilder, um, and his, he is naive. These sims tend to open up to others more easily and rarely pick up on things that others would be embarrassed of. They also pick up on social skills more slowly than other sims. Um, he's active and high metabolism, and he, oh, oh, also, he, um, has a job in the, um, what is it called? The, the, uh, that one that's only on the weekends, this one, um, manual labor. Um, and then she doesn't have a job, but she does have a aspiration. She wants to be a renowned teacher. This is also a custom aspiration that came with the go to school mod that I do have installed, which I do have an elementary and a high school mod or high school lot placed down. Um, she's an insider and a music lover. And I don't know what trait this is. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's getting messed up or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah. So, anyways, this is the house that they are currently renting out. Very small, like I said. They don't have much time in here. Um, it's just kind of to get them on their feet. They have 2,000 simoleons in the bank. And all of this furnishing is not theirs to keep. So, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah. But let's go ahead and show you guys a close-up. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. There you go. There they are. So, we have Kaylee and Bryant. Um, madly, deeply in love. Um, so, yeah. She's eating for two and she'll be in her second trimester in 23 hours. And I plan to do the baby shower um, the baby shower event when she's in her second trimester. Sorry, I lost a th my train of thought. Sorry. So sorry. Um, but yeah, so I'm so excited. Um, I want to go ahead and show you guys a couple things. So, um, I did fill up Newcrest. So they live in Newcrest. We have, um, four other families in this little area. Uh, we have a spa. This is the Newton's Money Mart, which is the mod that we're going to be using to kind of take out some loans. Um, we have a park. It's a daycare type thing. Uh, cafe. This is the high school. And then we have a senior prom venue. Uh, we have the water park and a restaurant, graduation hall, elementary school, and a movie theater. 
So that is what I did with Newcrest, and I can't. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so anyways, oh, okay. I don't even know where to begin. Honestly, I really don't. Um, so I really honestly don't know many people because they are new to the neighborhood, and obviously they don't have their family. Um, they have disowned Bryant. He has no connection with them whatsoever. They basically just blocked them or him from everything. Um, but they are soulmates and a girlfriend and they're just the cutest little things ever. I don't even know how to explain it, but, oh, he's going to go kiss her. See what I mean? They are like, they love each other. They love each other. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a picture of this. Ooh. Um, okay. They love each other so freaking much. It's just the cutest thing ever. Um, I wanted to put up the walls. There we go. Whoa, what's going on? Sure. That'll work. Oh, it's because I went up a floor. Oops. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to this Let's Play. This part's going to be extremely boring, and I apologize. We're probably honestly just going to be going out, and I'm going to have Bryant actually collect everything that we can collect around here. Um, meet some people around town, do all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction to her and her and him. Just to get everything started, um, maybe, oh, okay, cool, that works. Okay, awesome. That works perfectly. Um, I believe that she's coming over as well. Um, maybe we can set that up for a friendly introduction and he'll come over. Uh, we'll just have a party in our house, how about that? Then we can all, or they can both meet them. So... I just want them to have friends. Even though they are um, young adults and not teens, they will meet some teens at home. Or not home, at school. Um, so, yes. Let's do this. Okay. Alrighty, cool. Alrighty, so he knows them. Okay, she's coming. Cool. Alright, so we're going to have to, after this, actually go... And, um, have him go collect some things. Um, yes. Okay. Alrighty. Just because this is the way we're going to be getting a lot of our money. Um, and we will definitely be going to the city and collecting posters and stuff like that. Because the posters are amazing and they sell for bank usually. Not like a lot, but pretty decently good chunk of change. So, yeah. Um, I don't believe that there's really anything else that we can, um, collect. Oh, well, nope. There's a couple over here. Um, look for frogs. Dig that up. Dig that up. Alrighty. We can't really harvest any of the harvestables yet. Um, it's just no big deal. Okay. Alrighty. So I think that's it. Um, and then, okay. Perfect. Oh, he, this is his formal wear, by the way. I wanted to take a picture of them in their cute little clothes, but this is his formal wear. I'll have him change into his everyday, um, and show you guys his everyday. If you guys didn't watch my thing, then... Um, also, so it looks like he wants to have a graduation ceremony, which he's nowhere close to actually graduating, so that's definitely not going to happen. Oh, oh, and another thing I downloaded for, you know, shiz and giggles is some custom meals, custom snacks, dessert, drinks, all that fun stuff. So it looks like we have... Um, some custom desserts. What is this one? So we have, oh, that one's not anything custom. What am I talking about? 
Um, custom foods, we have some pizzas, like mini pizzas. We got vegan pizzas, Canadian, veggie, Hawaiian, Mexican, bacon and egg, pepperoni, chicken, buffalo, ground beef, all the sorts of pizzas. Um, <laughs> and then we have some um, shrimp, tempur tempura shrimp udon, octopus udon, Zara Sobo, and instant ramen. Um, we have some custom drinks. We have an alcoholic beverage, which, oh, it's actually nothing. Interesting. Uh, we have Coke, Fanta, Sprite, and Welch's, which, let me tell you, oh my drink. We got some custom snacks, which is just the cup of ramen um, and KFC bucket, which is what she's eating right now. I love this. It's so cool. And I just, I had to get them in my game. Um, I found them the other day when I was, like, changing up my Tumblr a little bit to take care of and, like, you know, um, link some more stuff because it was pretty outdated and I wanted to make sure that it was semi up to date as far as what I have in my game, like mods and stuff, which I do need to add a couple more things I forgot to add, but, um, I mean, it's, it's getting there and, um, yeah, so... Ooh, we can breed those frogs. Yes. Alrighty, so he's about to done collecting. Alright, so this is his everyday super laid back. I don't know why the hair is like getting like glitched like that. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really weird. Um, we're gonna go ahead and breed that, of course. Of course. No biggie. That's 35 simoleons, and this is 20 simoleons. Um, and then this is 60. 30. Um, I'm not going to open these. I have no desire to collect anything really in this. Um, and usually it's more expensive. Um, this is 50. What the hey? You're just going to eat some hot dogs that you found on the floor or on the ground? Are you serious? Weirdo. All right. So the 75 simoleons. That gives us a little bit more money. Not much. Um, but what are you going to do, right? I mean, anything helps them. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and actually go in here really fast and just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So you go into MS command center and you go into settings and you can set age spam duration. And I, I changed everyone. So baby is three toddlers, 14 child, 17 teens 25 young adults 25 adults 20 elder <laughs> 20 do you hear him trying to talk <laughs> that's so funny so i think what i'll do is um let me let me go ahead and change the baby to five and that'll give us a little bit more time to make sure that we are out of this house um, because let's be real, there is no room for little toddlers. Um, absolutely no room. Um, and I will be, um, building them a new house, which I'm probably just going to go ahead and evict them and bulldoze this lot, this lot and, you know, that kind of stuff to get their, uh, lot back or their home back on this lot because I do want them to continue living in Newcrest and, that stuff so yeah but anyways i don't know what to do so um what what do you need okay so he needs to work out so let me check his needs okay we can totally go to the gym we'll go to the willow creek gym um and that way we can work out for a little bit um travel we're gonna go by ourselves maybe there's a trainer that would be cool um, and maybe they can train us. I think it said that he had to work out for eight hours straight. Hopefully not. Um, let's look. Yep. Total of eight hours. Okay. Um, so Don is here. He feel Oh, he's a gym trainer. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction to him. Maybe we can get him to train us. Let's see. Um, let's do friendly, maybe. Um, da, da, da. let's go ahead and fire him up. I don't know. Maybe we have to be at a certain level. 
complain about parents. Let's go ahead and complain about parents, because, yeah, we... Him and his parents don't get along. Let's just leave it at that, so... Alrighty. Dawn is active. Well, I knew that. Alrighty, cool. Let's go ahead. Um, ask Dawn to mentor. There it is. So we have to be... Um, we have to be working out. Okay. Cool. Alright, so I think that this is kind of raising his skill up a little bit more. It's really loud if I go in because there's so many people, but um, I definitely want them, him to meet as many people so that we can have a bunch of people coming into our baby shower, you know. Um, so, yeah. I've never used a baby shower mod, so it's going to be all new to me. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. Alright, so he's been working out for two hours. Um, we may have to stop because he's going to get hungry and he's going to have to take a shower and all that, which is not going to be fun because then we have to come back and re work out <laughs> all of that. All right, there it is. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs and take a steamy, let's do, take a speedy shower because he's energized. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and use a, or use the toilet. And do they have, um, they should put like little, whatever they're called in here. Um, the little vending machines. That would be, that would be smart. Maybe I will go ahead and go place those in there really fast. Um, we have to go into here and I believe that's just in here. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place a couple over here. Um, there we go. Also, is this fixed? Yes, it's fixed. I believe it was this venue that was really weird. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and buy a custom snack. We're going to get a cup of new, or a couple of ramen, sorry. Why are you in just her towel? Put on your clothes, dude. You're about to leave. Okay, everyone's going to see you in your skibbies, but okay. Fine by me. So this is the cup of ramen. It's just kind of like your cup of noodle, basically. That's why I keep getting them mixed up. But they eat with chopsticks, which is amazing. Um, so, yeah, he's just, he's comfortable being in his skibbies. But, okay. Whatever floats your boat, dude. Um, alrighty. So, I believe that he's a teen. Yes, he's a teen. Awesome. His voice is almost up. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish your cup of ramen. Alright. And go work out. There we go. At least he's not in his skibbies anymore. <laughs> That was a little ridiculous. <laughs> Poor Bella. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and ask Dawn to mentor. Okay. So we are four hours in. We can do this. <laughs> He's getting tired. Oh, we're good friends with Dawn now. Okay, five hours. She's in our skibbies too. Is that like a bug or something? Six hours in. Come on, you can do it. I'm like fast forwarding it so much. Seven. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, you can. I have faith in you. Yes, awesome. Okay. You can go ahead and stop now. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so we actually know quite a bit of people, which is awesome. Dawn is our really good friend now, which is also awesome because... I was not expecting us to get a good friend so far. Um, he's kind of cute looking. Sorry. My man. Wanted to see who he was. But alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and let him go on home and head to bed. And tomorrow is a new day. They do have school. So definitely going to be going to school. Um, and I believe that. Let me check. But she should be in her second trimester. Um, roughly after she gets out of school. Which would be perfect. And then we can go ahead and throw the baby shower. Um, let me just look. So, yep, 11 hours. Cool. So, she'll be on her second trimester before 
school is up. But alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and head to bed. And um <laughs> excuse me, my nose is all sorts of effed up. But alright, so we're gonna go to sleep. Actually, nope, we don't have uh, we don't have any homework. I think we have to buy some homework. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. Um, okay, homework. I think it's in here. Um, grade school, homework, graduation mod, functional yearbook. <gasps> That's cool. Place these year yearbooks around your graduation era to teen sims can write in them. <gasps> That is so cool. I didn't know that. That's awesome. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. So here's the homework. There we go. Oh, is it not going to show up? Oh, in the bookshelf. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and give him one. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and head to, or, <laughs> I'm not going to go to bed. I'm going to go ahead and let them sleep through the night. And in the morning, they will be going off to school. Maybe we'll go to school with them. I don't know, but probably not because we're probably not going to be able to when the toddlers are here and stuff like that. So, or the toddler, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, twins, triplets, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.